Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those of you know what the hell you are yet. Hop along PR here, and you know, there are just some times that words just can't properly convey how you feel about someone. But you want to know something that can never be misconstrued? Tossing their ass into a volcano. These are the top 10 characters that I would love to chuck into a volcano. Number 10. Alright, the first entry is Evil Robot Dude from Doom. Alright, so I'm still not a huge Doom fan, but I can admit it's a very solid and fun game with a very obvious ending via this cliche villain. This scrap heap was set up from the very first point to be a sleazebag, so him betraying you at the end wasn't surprising. Personally, I believe people need to die, and he chose not to, so I have to set everything right in the universe and toss his sorry ass into the volcano. Number 9, Joja Mart's Office Manager. What, what's his nuts? Yes, I know he's written to be a Triton cliche villain in the game. They do this well, but that's not the real reason that he gets thrown into the volcano. No, how dare he try to run my bottom bitch's daddy out of business. And no, I wasn't talking about me. Number eight, the first non-video game character that makes the list. This spiteful and stupid bastard is Patrick, who started out as a somewhat hapless dimwit and he is currently one of the most vile cartoon characters I've seen in a while, and he's supposed to be amicable on some level. Number seven, so I won't give him completely to the volcano. In fact, I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy VII's Cloud would help me with this one. I mean, for fuck's sake, one of my early missions in the game is to dress up in drag. Cloud was only upset because his life was a lie, and he lost a potential love interest. I think those are both appropriate reasons to be mopey, but guess what? He fucking bounces back. We do not need a mopey emo with one wing and a huge sword. We have one of those already. So I guess Sephiroth and Cloud from Final Fantasy VII could each work together and grab them by one hand each and toss them in. Number six. Now we're getting to some prime offenders. First up is Vivian from Dragon Age. And no matter what the situation is, I have never found myself in any way agreeing with her. And I even play as a mage, yet I get to see the lovely Vivian disapproves to the point where I deliberately go out of my way and make sure that she hates me. Number five, I mean, I love the Tales of Games, nowhere near as much as the Trails of Games, but usually they're solid RPGs with decent battle mechanics, characters, and their story. I did say usually. I can't endorse a game where I hate the main character, think their shepherd system is stupid and hackneyed, and it's the only game I've fallen asleep playing. Yes, even my Final Fantasy VIII videos where I'm beyond what people call cognitive. I didn't fall asleep, but Zesty, get your ass into the volcano. You're almost as big a disappointment as Symphonia 2. Number four. So I will make no attempt to hide it, but I detested Final Fantasy XV for a plethora of reasons, but it's mainly because of this widely emo punk who is no hero, but a mere slave to destiny. However, I won't beat a dead horse, despite this one working up the stink ranks. So, I have a link below where I go into an hour long rant about why I think Final Fantasy XV sucks huge dick. Number three, so, so far all of my entries have been from annoying characters. This entry is a tad different. So what happens if you put a self-obsessed, narcissistic, war-hungry, holier-than-thou, manipulative, lying sack of shit into power who makes deals behind his nation's back with nefarious individuals? You get Chancellor Osborne, a man who threw his home nation into civil war only to emerge as the hero who ended it after hundreds have already died. Now he makes a list because I'm pretty sure throwing his ass into the volcano is the only surefire way to make sure he stays off the face of Zumeria for good. He's already died once. Number two, find me one redeeming quality for this guy. I dare you. From womanizing, sabotaging others relationships, being a top tier narcissist, whiny, pathetic, and overall just a terrible human being. I'm sure I'm actually waiting in a long line to throw this fucker in a volcano, but I will wait my turn. In fact, the only reason why he's not number one on this list is because I couldn't give a shit about friends. Whereas number one was a butthurt baby. Number one. 
So this one to me is a no-brainer. If you saw my other list of all-time badasses, then you know that I love Big Boss. And I'm definitely not the only one. Kaz is someone who is obsessed with Big Boss. After he was entrusted with Big Boss's secret, he threw a hissy fit because the real Big Boss was elsewhere. So much of a hissy fit that he devoted his life from that point on in trying to bring down Big Boss. Enter Solid Snake, aka David, the man who beats Big Boss. Twice. Kaz, I'm sure you're a virgin, so I'm gonna make the wish that you never train David and that Big Boss and his sons took over the world. And that is my list. Rest assured, that is my list. If you think there are other characters that I should throw into a volcano, let me know. I'm always on the lookout for a good <laughs> volcano fodder. Yes. Ah, but thank you, everybody, for watching. If you have anything you want to say, make some noise down in the comments below. And thank you all for staying weird.